Hi, and welcome to this Roll-On Tech Talk. I'm Jake, an engineer at Roll-On. And I'm Brian, product manager for linear and telescopic products for Roll-On Americas. Today, Brian and I will be discussing contamination of linear guides, what contamination is, how to mitigate its effects, and how to select the best guide for your application environment. So Brian, contamination is a major factor to consider when selecting a linear guide. What is contamination and how does it affect guides? For a linear guide, contamination is any kind of debris that increases friction. That friction causes uneven load distribution in the bearing. If there's too much contamination, the guide will eventually fail. So what kinds of contamination are there? Generally speaking, contamination can be grouped into a few categories. When sizing guides, we consider large particle, fine particle, liquid, and chemical contamination. So large particles would include things like sawdust, large machine chips, weld spatter, and things along those lines. What guides are appropriate for environments with those contaminants? Large particle contamination is not an issue for guides that have appropriate seals or scrapers to help keep the contamination out of the bearing surfaces of the guide. For example, on this compact rail carriage, you can see wipers that will push contaminants down the rail and out of the way, and side seals that keep contamination from entering into the raceway along the sides of the carriage. Profile rail guides, like this, can also include scrapers and seals that do a decent job of keeping large particles out of the ball bearings inside the guide. So how about fine particle contamination? I'm thinking about things like very fine sand or fiberglass and ceramic dust. In the case of fine particle contamination that can bypass seals and scrapers, it's very difficult to keep it out of the open bearings, such as recirculating ball guides. However, fully sealed bearings, like the roller bearings on compact rail and X-rail, can guarantee performance against those contaminants. These larger roller style bearings have no issue with fine particles on the raceway surface because they simply roll over them. So while these sealed roller bearing guides will handle all particle contamination well, as you mentioned, guides with exposed bearing cages like this DE telescopic rail won't. That's correct. Guides with exposed bearing cages should not be used in applications where any significant contamination is expected. For a telescopic application in a contaminated environment, we recommend our Telerace guide. In addition to sealed bearings, they also feature wipers to push contaminants out of the rail, making them very resistant to contamination. So what about chemical and liquid contamination, like in salt water or washdown environments? For these kinds of environmental conditions, material selection and surface coatings play a factor. We offer full stainless steel components for many environments. For outdoor and marine environments, we have plating options including zinc nickel or thin dense nickel chrome. For medical or food applications where washdown chemicals will be present, nickel plating can be provided. For high wear applications, surface hardened black nitrate finishing is available as well. So with all these options available, where can someone go to learn more about what guide is going to be best for their application environment? For more information on these guides and the applications they are suited for, you can visit our website and product catalogs. If contamination is expected in an application, we recommend reaching out to a roll-on engineer to ensure the best configuration is selected. Thanks, Brian. For more information on these guides or to get in touch with a roll-on engineer to select the best guide for your application, please visit rollon.com. Thanks for watching.